Welcome back, everybody. Now we're looking at the displaced EMA. And we've got a displacer of 1, or negative 1. And the deviation scale to moving average of 40. All right. We've got a disparity index of 13, a demand index of 5, and a trended price oscillator of 14 and 14 close. Okay. We could change that to open or, you know, multiple different things, you know, be well. Okay. Now we've got Pfizer pulled up. All right. And a Darvis box. Some marks here that uh, we want to keep in mind, particular price areas. Okay. And these three particular oscillators are very interesting, are they not? Okay. Now, I'd like to see some sort of uh, strategy take part. It looks like we're going to have to build it. Based on, uh, of course, a zero. And it seems to act an awful lot like, say, a B percent, or at least the way I learned uh, the B percent um, on Weeble. So if you're using Weeble for this, um, let's see. I remember the B percent uh, lifting off above zero, and that was a good entry point. Okay. Now, some of the same stocks we've got here, you know, on our Darvis uh, breakouts, it looks like, are on our uh, Momo LBR. Okay. Let's see what that is. Oh, okay. It's using momentum and polychrome momentum. I see. We're getting three different stocks, WFC, Pfizer, and Apple. Not too shabby. Okay. Now. What do we have here? WTFC, PB, CG, Rnet, Lmark, CPSS, and IMH. Okay, the only one that's red. Let's check it out and see what's going on here. Looks like it's being squeezed. Okay, hasn't quite popped above the line yet, but it looks like it's about to. So if we can get this break above the line, that's breakout time. Breakout time, da na 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 All right, breakout time, here we go. So there's a nice gap fill there, a nice gap fill there. If we can bust out above these gaps here, above, if, if, if we can break out above the 249, and it might smack its top here at 268, so that's a beware-ish moment, but if it can break through it, if it can break through this right here at the 290, it's going to fly. So let's see here. What what is this possible volume? Yeah. What? Uh, yeah. Say big gap there. Okay. Zoom out. Okay. I mean, 
that's a very big, uh, very big spot, but it's not, it's not that big. 300,000, you know, shares, 300,000 shares to get through that. Okay, um, let's see. Impact Mortgage Holdings at 195. Okay. Huh. Okay, here's an, you know, that, that's a good support for it. You know, if we can get above this area here, then it's free game to the top, but it's got a couple different levels to bust through. You know, here at this $2 a nickel, $2.07 range, it'll be hard to get past it, so that's only 10 cents away. And you'd have to, we, we'd have to see a huge volume of, you know, half a million shares um, just to get through that. And it looks like it wants to. Here's a nice little underside W coming through. It's about to pop above the zero. I don't know. I mean, this, uh, well, this is a watcher for sure. You know, um, don't let this one fake you out. It, it, it might give a good, good run. So... And you know, being that the bid is 201 and the ask is 214, they're already anticipating a run up market open. Okay. And if we want, we can gather more information. So let's let's throw out that level two there. I mean, that was just a good piece of information to know and have your bid ask spread. And we do have a label for our bid ask spread for the people who join the channel and uh, whatnot. Okay, nothing there. Here we go. If you're a channel member, you'll get this. Okay, so we'll get to build some watch lists. And really, what I'm doing right now is going through each time chart and seeing how well the disparity index, the demand index, and the de trended price oscillator with a VWAP setting added all react to the zero line and below above and below and you know things like that and uh, how they're reacting with the Darvis boxes and I think I changed my time settings and they're gone again that's mean Okay, here we go. Can't complain too much, but down on the five minute chart, okay. We really do see some, uh, some interesting things here with this demand index, okay. I see some big dips here. You know, we can see the uh, opening trading, you know. Uh, and I like this the, this the trended price oscillator. It's got our time across the bottom here. So, you know, this is uh, giving us another way to look at data, you know, on a time, you know, frame. Okay. But this seems to adjust to whatever your chart setting is. That's a good thing. I like that. So if you're out on the daily, you get a daily setting and a five minute, and you're down to a five minute setting. Well, that's kind of good. I like that. All right. 
And with the way that this moves, I mean, these, these two seem to move, you know, in sync together, but seeing all three of them together, I think those could generate some really, really good entry and exit signals. So, looks like they're good at finding, you know, peaks too. So let's see what else is on our Darvis. Let's see, daily, Darvis, weekly. If it's on the weekly, then it's on the daily. But that does not mean that it'll be on the four hour. Okay, so when we're swing trading, we're looking at weekly, you know, and daily, you know, time charts. You can swing trade on a four hour chart, but I like to see things, you know, in the overall bigger picture with less, uh, less noise. I'll give it a chance to catch up here. Yeah, maybe we're not having anything on the watch list pop up yet. I mean, we are trying to do a weekly scan. And let's see if there's any money flowing in on the daily. And there is. So there's money flowing into GSX, LFMD, MTSL, NRZ, and IQ. These are all ones that money is flowing into. And let's check our money flowing out. Where is money leaving? Oh dear, there's money leaving QuantumScape. Oh, okay. MaxN, Perch, PHX, CVX, FSR. Uh, no, no, not. I mean, I get that. SLB, WK, AGTC, and AEVA. Money's flowing out of. Okay. So keep those in mind for the channel, everyone. We'll wrap this up kind of quickly. You know, I think we got our Darvis, we got our money flows, uh, you know, we threw, uh, the, the, did we do many Arunes today? Let's check our Arun reversal on the daily, okay? Arun reversal on the daily is AA, WFC, Workhorse, Clove, IQ, Sundial, TexMed, JAGX, MRO, Open, MS, and PINS. Is that Pinterest? Sure is. Okay, so possible Arun reversals here. And with the Arun reversals, as we've noticed, half the list is green, half the you know, <laughs> list is red. Um, yeah, but uh, that is the Arun reversals for the daily. Let's check Arun reversals for the weekly. And about the same. Okay, so the weekly and the daily. And let's check our four hour. All right, as you can see, many of them are the same. And one hour. Okay. Many of them are the same. And a 15 minute. Which probably needs it to scan a lot more information. So it's easier for it to do it you know, I'm going to guess on the daily, you know, time frames. But once it comes down to 15 minutes, it's a lot of info. Now, we could let it uh, sit here and do its thing, but maybe the case is, is that it just isn't true on the 15-minute time chart, you know, or the one-minute time chart, but was true all the way down to the hour. Okay, so looks like right now we're able to scan all the way down to the hour. I am trying to render a video at the same time and record one, so we're uh, we're, we're we're pretty tapped out for uh, threads. But anyway, um, excellent stuff. So subscribe, stick around, uh, join the Stock Smart family, and 
you know, enjoy the strategies that we build here.